When I was two years old, they said I was intellectually disabled. I'm still in diapers or nappies, depending on which country you come from, at the age of five, no speech, until about then. And went back to school at 38 to do years 11 and 12, where they introduced me to something called a computer. It's called a, a 386 back then, and uh, changed my life. <laughs> Having access to education in a, in a, uh, a way that made consent, uh, s connections for me was just amazing. And then I went, I did so well at school, I went to university and then went on to get a PhD. Something my family just couldn't, couldn't believe, and I still can't believe. It was almost as hard as getting married. <coughs> not really. Getting married was harder, no. Sorry, and I know you're not supposed to have a sense of humour if you're autistic, but they forgot about that when they put me in the mould, so. Anyway, kids grow up hearing all sorts of things from parents and teachers around them, and they're being told all the time, especially if you're autistic, how you are not normal, how you'll never learn, you never drive a car, how you'll ever have a relationship, and all sorts of things like that. And you know, when people prophesy over your life like that as a little person, it becomes the truth. So the more we prophesy value and acceptance, just as the way you are, without trying to change us, the more that likely that person is gonna have good self-esteem, less likely to have mental health issues. At the moment, autistic people are in the top over 15% of people committing suicide every year. Much, much higher than non-autistic people, and that has to stop. So thank you so much for this award. I am beyond, I'm almost close to crying, which takes a lot for me to do. So thank you.